All right, Salim Rezai here again, and I want to talk about this trial called the EPIC trial, which is electrode positioning and cardioverting atrial fibrillation. So the authors of this study basically try to answer this clinical question, which electrode position, either anterior lateral or anterior posterior, is more effective for the biphasic cardioversion of atrial fibrillation? So what did they do? So this was a randomized clinical trial of 467 adult patients with atrial fibrillation. And what they did is they basically randomized people to an anterior lateral pad position or an anterior posterior pad position. Their primary outcome was the proportion of patients in normal sinus rhythm one minute after the first shock. So what were the results? Well, it looks like the anterior lateral actually did better than the anterior posterior with 54% conversion compared to 33%. Now, when we extend this out to the second and third shocks, you can see that that holds true. Even though that wasn't the primary outcome, they did better with the anterior lateral pad placement. Now, in this trial, they used this escalating energy of the first shock got 100 joules, the second shock got 150 joules, and the third shock got 200 joules. But I'm going to tell you that although this wasn't covered in the trial, if you're going to cardiovert somebody with atrial fibrillation, don't do escalating energy. Do 200 joules, 200 joules, 200 joules for your first, second, and third shocks. There was a trial called the BEST AF trial that actually confirmed this. They looked at escalating energy versus this 200 across the board, and the 200 did significantly better. So what's the clinical bottom line? Well, for our atrial fibrillation patients, when we're performing cardioversion, use the anterior lateral pad positioning first for higher success, not the anterior posterior. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.